What's up everyone? This is me, Cardi. Welcome back to another video on YouTube Gamers Club. And today, a news has dropped in regarding about the next major update for Cookie Run Kingdom. So, I'm very, very excited to see how it first. But let me tell you first how it goes. Okay, so recently, a few days ago, Dev Sisters has dropped in a teaser for the Golden Cheese Kingdom as well as, as the new world exploration episode. So that might be a time where gold, where fans are bra bragging about Golden Cheese Cookie being released. So it has been a year since Dark Cacao, the third ancient hero, has been released. And now it's time to shine for Golden Cheese Cookie to star in his own kingdom. So previously, back in January 2023, when Cookie Run Kingdom was having its second anniversary, they released episode 15 and 16, which breaks the gap between the tales, the stories regarding about the inch, the five ancient heroes. So episodes 15 and 16 is actually the first story to be focusing on a legendary cookie. But few months later, this has arrived. So we are going to read the upcoming patch notes for version 5.0, which is which is what it was and by the time golden cheese cookie has been released the the previously released cookies from dark cacao all the way up to frilled jellyfish will be under the third legion so let's take a look i know that some of the portions of this update might change before its release the finalized changes will be available in the patch notes once the update is complete. It may change depending on the various factors, so do keep an eye out. Okay, so we have finally released the new episode, episode 17, The Lost Golden City. Amidst the dunes of the Parmesan Desert, where golden cheese flows freely, the ever-gleaming golden cheese kingdom is finally here. This is what fans have regarding about. So many fans and players who wanted golden cheese cookie to come in Cookie Run Kingdom to have to play here. So embark on a new adventure to the final ancient kingdom in Cookie Run Kingdom. Play episode 17, The Lost Golden City, and clear both story and dark mode stages. So, so far, I have already cleared 16-30 story mode. But I'm currently now in 16-16 in dark mode. So, don't worry, Death Sisters is going to nerf episodes 15 and 16, both story and dark mode. So that every player get a chance to... To, to clear those stages easily and get to episode 17 on time. Explore the new episode on the Bear Jelly Balloon after you complete, complete all of the story mode stages. Certain stages in episode 17 will include exciting new features like puzzles and mini games and from what I recall, there are some theories regarding about that. So episode 17 may borrow some some features from the special episode. So they they might give a first win reward as light of abundance, 50 in story mode and 80 in dark mode. And the reward system is changed with 100 crystals in one star and two to and three stars will be catnip coins. And Possibly catnip cookie might be appearing in the kingdom and opens up catnip shop to open up op to buy essentials, including golden cheese cookie soul stone, a star jelly concentrate, resonant toppings, a life jewels of choice chest, and so much more. But this is just a theory. We'll find out more in when the update has dropped. So... In case you have wondering, do you know there is uh, an unused mine here in this kingdom that we are all waiting for? That is what Death Sisters is trying to recreate. 
a mine is going to open right when the update has dropped. So, so what from what I recall, there's a there's a mine called the Era Buster. So every day, many cheese birds gather at the heart of the golden cheese mines to remove unidentified errors. You can deal damage to monsters during battles and gain points in the Golden Cheese Kingdom's Era Busters. Defeat monsters and fix bugs plaguing the mines. Golden Cheese Kingdom's Era Busters are split into two seasons, and each season offers different season cookies and bug fix effects. You can select five cookies from randomly when entering battle in Era Busters. Do note that if you reach the cookie swapping point to swap one of the remaining cookies, you can choose swap Choose to swap a cookie or keep your current selection within the time limit. You can fight monsters and select the cookies you want into your team to bust those errors. There are also bug fix effects. You can receive bug fix points when you defeat monsters in error busters. Your bug fix points are displayed on the gauge at the upper left part of the screen. Once the gauge fills up, you can select one out of three bug fix effects that can help that will help you in battle. Remember, bug fix points are applied only for the duration of a single round. Remember to choose wisely and select effects that make your team stronger. For seasonal cookies, in Era Busters, you will be provided with special seasonal cookies only available for use in error busters. Every player will have the same stats as season cookies, have fixed levels and promotion ranks. However, this game mode will not be affected by external buffs and stats provided by landmarks, guild relics, guild level, sugar gnome laboratory, bonds and costume sets. Okay, so... For seasonal, seasonal cookies, they have already split into ra those rarities given. For Ancient, Legendary and Dragon, they are Golden Cheese Cookie, Pure Vanilla Cookie, Dark Cacao Cookie, Black Pearl Cookie and Frost Queen Cookie. For Super Epics, it's Crimson Coral, Capsaicin Cookie, Sherbet Cookie and Stardust Cookie. And for the epics, is some of the cookies from the first legion, including Black Raisin Cookie. So this is what we've shown in the image given. So before I move on to the cookies given, let's show you what we need to know. So we are going to start off with an epic first, then we are move on to an ancient. So this is the newest epic, Burnt Cheese Cookie, also known as Basque Cheese Cookie. The gatekeeper who guards the gates of the internal golden paradise, Burnt Cheese Cookie, is here. Burnt Cheese Cookie is a charged cookie who uses the skill Keeper of the Gates. So here's a simple skill description. It can summon giant boulders from beneath the earth, dealing damage to nearby enemies and granting earth-type crit buff for all allies. Afterwards, the boulders explode, dealing damage and stunning enemies. Burns Cheese Cookie grants the Keeper of the Gates and Crow's per Curse Protection buffs to, to himself and the ally cookie with the highest attack. The cookie with the Keeper of the Gates buff receives damage focus and becomes immune to debuffs. So this is a second cookie that receives damage focus other than Hollowberry. So this is what we expected. Burnt Cheese Cookie and Golden Cheese Cookie's damage resist increases when entering a battle together. If Golden Cheese Cookie becomes enclosed in her sarcophagus during battle, Burn Cheese Cookie's attack and attack speed will temporarily increase and his cooldown will reset. The Keeper of the Gates and Curse Protection buffs will be applied to Golden Cheese Cookie's and close in her sarcophagus first. While using 
his skill, burnt cheese cookie is briefly become resistant to interrupting effects. Okay, burnt cheese cookie will be available in the featured gacha starting from September 26. So try to save at least a cookie cutters and crystals to get that cookie, okay? And now we are moving on to the newest ancient cookie, our fourth ancient hero, Golden Cheese Cookie. The one who dwells in the glided palace amidst the dunes of the Parmesan Desert, the one who rules the internal city of gold, the long-awaited Golden Cheese Cookie is here. Golden Cheese Cookie is a ranged cookie who uses the skill, brilliance of the absolute. So here's the skills description. While Golden Cheese Cookie throws her Spear of Radiance, it can deal damage up to 8 times when there are 5 or more enemies. For each dead enemy has been defeated, she gains an extra Spear of Radiance. You know, it's similar to Sherbert, but it can increase once the enemy is defeated. The number when hit by Golden Cheese Cookie's Spear, enemies receive a debuff amplifying the Earth-type damage received. While Golden Cheese Cookie is using her skill, she harnesses her Light of Abundance and hurls the Spear of the Absolute to the enemy cookies with the highest attack. The Spear of Absolute removes the target's debuffs, deals damage that partially ignores the target's damage resist, and explosion damage based on the current number of Spears of Radiance to all enemies in Rage. Once per battle, if Golden Cheese Cookie is about to be defeated, she encloses herself in a sarcophagus suffo for the certain period of time. It can cast a shield around herself and it will take damage dealt to the nearby allies covered by it and provides knockback immunity. When using her skill, Golden Cheese Cookie is not affected by attack speed changes and protect is protected from glitch, which is a data corruption effect by the light of ab abundance. So, good news everyone, you can now pull for Golden Cheese Cookie and her soul stones in the Nether Gacha. You can collect and purchase Light of Abundance and use it in the Nether Gacha from the event as well as the shop. Don't worry, it's gonna be improved sometime, so just be patient. So, Golden Cheese Cookie and her Soul Stones will be available in the Nether Gacha with an increased probability. Once you have performed 250 Nether Gacha pulls, you will be able to meet a guaranteed Golden Cheese Cookie. But, in my theory, if Golden Cheese Cookie has been max ascended, the, the game might give you an ancient cookie of choice chest three kinds instead of the guaranteed copy. I do not know whether... They, this thing will follow the super epic gacha when a cookie has been at max ascended they might give a a cookie of choice chest we'll find out more any light of abundance remaining after the nether gacha ends will be converted to coins so it is my first very first time doing the nether gacha for golden cheese cookie because i started playing this game during the BTS update, so this is one day before after the BTS update, okay? So here are, there are new two new treasures. One, the Vial of Raging Dunes. Okay, at the beginning of the battle, ally cookies receive the Vial of Raging Dunes buff, increasing their attack and crit resist. When an ally cookie is revived, the buff is stacked once more, and whenever an ally cookie is revived, a fierce stand sandstorm will deal damage to enemies based on the total attack of allies and reduce enemies' attack. And another and another thing is that another epic treasure, Explorer's Monocle. Overcomes crisis with the Explorer's Monocle by purifying and healing max HP of allies while increasing defense and weakening debuff, debuff effects for a certain period, period of time. Okay, the Explorer's Monocle might be a variant treasure or for the Bookseller's Monocle, which is only can be obtained in the Guild Gacha. So, the Explorer's Monocle can be obtained in the Treasure's Gacha as given in the update. So, 
do stick around for that and this monocle can be useful for for removing debuffs but it can increase defense and weakening debuff as well so you do not need to level up the treasures in the guild by obtaining in the guild gacha so just do in a regular regular treasures gacha and you'll get this treasure okay so there are new background and decors, new kingdom decor and castle designs are here with the Golden Cheese Kingdoms update. The new background is Internals, Internals Golden City, the castle design is Dazzling Golden Cheese Castle and fountain design is Fountain of Paradise. But I don't know Internals Golden City and Fountain of Paradise will be paid rather than, you know, like you know being a having a free to play player because we already have the night sky background back on january 2023 during the moonlight cookies update and a new fountain which is the starlight fountain and recently the the bricks found the lemon sorbet bricks fountain so you should check out the new luxurious golden decor theme land of gold and abundance <laughs> just like land of peace and healing Okay, there are new resonant toppings. The new resonant gradient cheese toppings that can only be quick whipped by specific cookies has been added. So we have radiant cheese raspberry, radiant cheese chocolate chip, radiant cheese almond, radiant cheese caramel, and radiant cheese apple jelly. So from what I recall, golden cheese cookie, burnt cheese cookie, and black raisin cookie might able to equip these toppings. So the set, so same as before, the bonus effect of resonant toppings will be enhanced and you have higher minimum bonus stats value than regular toppings. And we have a new Hall of Encounter, the Grand Treachery Board of Relaxation. So the Hall of Encounter has been updated. You can obtain Monument Fragments, Unity Essence, Legendary Soul Essences, Radiant Cheese Toppings and more in the Hall of Encounter Random Reward Chest. So there is a new shop layout. You can make improvements to the shop's layout for the convenience. Packages are listed and categorized according to the new shop layout. And there are storage improvements. Now, for now, you can stack up star jellies to 9,999 instead of 9,999 9 star jellies in the storage. And there are choice chest improvements. You can now use claim rewards 5 times feature and select rewards you want and receive it in one go for multiple skill powders toppings sugar crystals of choice chest so they already received the choice chest improvements but not sure for soul stone choice of chest and the cookie choice of chest you'll find out more in this update so that's all we need to know about the golden cheese kingdoms the biggest update that you've given and one last thing to note that since the mine is also going to open soon when the update drops I also expect that episodes 15 and 16 of, of the world exploration will be also nerfed. So, let's take a look. As you can see, I'm now at 16-15 and I'm closer to 16-30. But don't worry, Death Sisters is going to nerf this stage. So you will not have worries about that. And not only episodes 15 and 16 for both difficulties, there's also special episodes that needs to be nerfed. So Legend of the Red Dragon, Summer Soda Rock Fester, and currently a Mermaid's Tale will be given a nerf so that everyone can can play so that's why they're going to nerf this stage and make those stages easier so that they can complete the epi special episode easily that's all we need to know about the 
the pet patch notes for the latest update. So if you like this video, you can like, comment, and subscribe to this to YouTube Gamers Club for more Kuhiran Kingdom Corner, as well as other games such as Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Roblox, and Brick City for more gaming adventures. So, anyways. Thanks to all the love and support given, we finally managed to get Golden Cheese Cookie as well as her kingdom for for the upcoming two episodes. But fret not, they still left tomorrow. So, do do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, take care, you guys. Bye.